I'm Leslie Gibbs. I'm a children's author and a presenter at the Australian Writers' Centre where I teach the online course Writing Chapter Books for Six to Nine Year Olds. Today I'm so excited because I've been asked to help launch a brand new chapter book. Well, here it is, Four on the Run. It's written by Sophie Masson and illustrated by Cheryl Orsini. First, I want to tell you a little bit about the wonderful creators of this chapter. Now, Sophie Masson has written more than 70 novels published here in Australia and internationally. She writes for adults, for young adults and for children. Um, she writes in the fantasy genre, but she writes so much more than that. You can find Sophie writing things like ghost stories, mysteries, thrillers, family stories. There's even a graphic novel. Sophie has received a lot of acknowledgement for excellence in writing from the, the New South Wales Premier's Literary Awards, the, Australian, uh, the Children's Book Council Australia and the Uralis Awards. Now Sophie is a much respected member of the Australian writing community and she has served on the Literature Board of the Australia Council, on the Board of Management of the Australian Society of Authors, President of the New England and Northwest sub-branch of the Children's Book Council of New South Wales and is the current chair of the New England Writers' Centre and Vice President of Small Press Network. She has been awarded an AM General Division in the Order of Australia for significant service to literature as an author, a publisher and through roles in industry organisations. Wow, no wonder I needed a sheet. Now, Cheryl Orsini is a much loved Australian illustrator. Now, she studied visual communications at UTS and she is the illustrator of more than 30 books for children. Now, her work appears regularly in magazines and in exhibitions. Now, her books include Lucy's book, Caravan Fran and Pom Pom, Where Are You and The Fairy Dances, just to name a few. Here is a copy of The Fairy Dances. I have this because my daughter absolutely adores it. I just wanted to show you what some of Cheryl's colour illustrations look like. They are absolutely glorious. I love them. Now, when I heard that Sophie Masson and Cheryl Orsini were teaming up to do a chapter book together, I was so excited. Well, here it is, Four on the Run. Now, it's a chapter book, so it's aimed at young readers, those children who have just started to learn to read independently. Now, they've been reading uh, picture books with their parents and now they want to read a book that looks like a novel all by themselves. This is the sort of book they need to go for. And the reason is, these books are very carefully crafted to support that new reader. And Sophie has crafted this book very carefully. The, the language in there is carefully crafted. The vocabulary that's chosen is chosen just for that age group, as well as the sentence structure in there, all chosen to support a newly independent reader. But the most important thing that an author has to do in a chapter book is to write an absolute cracker of a story to really keep the attention and entertain this age group. And Sophie has done that in spades. Now, what I really love about this book is the characters are not human. Well, the four main characters aren't human. In fact, they are machines, they are vehicles, which is why I'm sitting in this most magnificent car. Here they are on the front. We have a motorcycle called Flash. Then we have a beautiful, um, elegant car here called Lady. And then we have Maxi. And at the top here is um, a tractor called Fergie. Now they live on Mrs. Brown's farm. They have a very happy life there and there's no need for big adventures. They're quite content. Well, here comes the problem. Now, all good books have problems and Sophie has given a real crack of a problem here. Mrs. Brown's farm is having financial difficulty and to pay the bills, she is going to sell the four, the four lovely vehicles the four main characters to the scrapyard. This is a terrible thing. I can't believe this is happening. So the four go on the run, as the name suggests, and they have a huge adventure. They want to save themselves from the scrapyard and they want to help save the farm and get some money for Mrs. Brown to pay off her bills. So that's their aim in this story and it leads to huge adventures. Now, my favorite part of this story um, and my favourite illustration is this page here. They have a big adventure with some monster trucks. Who doesn't love monster trucks? This is my favourite part of the story, but I'm not going to tell you what happens and I'm not going to spoil it for you. 
But here they are, our four characters are shaking in their tyres and coming down the track, thundering down are two big monster trucks towards them. I wonder what's happening. Well, I know what happens because I've read the book and it's very exciting. So I hope that you might have a read of this book as well. It is a cracker. I love it. Well, I'm so pleased that I can launch this book for uh, Sophie and Cheryl. A huge congratulations on writing this beautiful, adventurous, heartwarming story. And a very big happy book birthday to you for On The Run. Bye.